Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Thank you so much for being here. So before we get into this reading, they're timeless, so you watch it whenever it feels right for you. Uh, I do want to talk about experiences that are waking us up. All right, so we have the collective out there. Obviously things are going off. Um, there's all kinds of talk of all kinds of different things out there. But I know as of the recording of this video, we are having some retrogrades. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I don't know about you guys, but I have had a nightmare time <laughs> with these retrogrades. So these moments would happen and it really woke me up. I want to share this with you so you don't miss these moments, okay? For example, a couple of, no, a week ago, a little over a week ago, we had an internet outage in my area. And I'm talking, like I run an internet-based business, so I have backups, you know, all of that. No access to anything. And that woke me up. I mean, I was sitting there going, probably shouldn't put all my financial eggs in one basket <laughs> because we've heard of things that could be going down and what if that were to occur? Now, we are such a digital world, even if, say, I got an office job or something like that. Angel Souls isn't going anywhere. This would just be to cover my bases, you know, financially and make sure I have stability. But we have such a digital world that it would probably affect the office work, too, but maybe not as heavily as it would, you know, for something like this. So that woke me up. And I started putting my resume out there and we'll see what occurs. But, you know, it's just something like that that was the wake up call. And it was a gentle wake up call as opposed to the internet's down indefinitely. You know, when it came back up, I was like, okay, just get back to it. <laughs> just get back to it. Catch up, get back on schedule. The other thing that occurred, and I wanna offer this too, because this could be a way that your angels, your spiritual team, they're trying to protect you and they're trying to communicate with you, okay? So here's this other example. Found out yesterday morning that we have a snowstorm coming in. I live in Colorado. If you guys don't know, if you're outside of the U.S., Colorado is in the southwest part of the United States. And California, which is on the west coast, has been getting hit with all of this weather, basically. So I think that's just now tracking across the country. So I usually stay prepared for these types of things. So I got up, I heard about the snowstorm, and I thought, well, I'm going to hit the trail before the trails get all messed up. <laughs> and uh, I went and did my hike, and I came back, and I felt this... I don't know, push to go to the store. But I don't want to. I don't I don't want to go to the store right before a snowstorm. <laughs> like, I'm prepared. I have food, water, you know, lighting. You know, I have all that kind of stuff. I'll be fine. But I felt the need to go. I had no idea what I was going to the store for, but I trusted it. And when I got there, I literally walked in. Still had no idea where I was going. I went to the beauty section, which is what I do. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I like looking at makeup. I like makeup. But anyway, I kept on going and here I was going to the gardening section. And I go in there and terracotta pots are quite common. But in my experience, they're usually like on a back wall. You know what I'm saying? These were on an end cap kind of pushed out into the middle of the floor. And I'm like, what is that heat thing? Double check me on it. I don't even, you know, like there's a way that you can heat a room with a terracotta pot be careful always safety first but check somebody who can explain it better but I was like that's interesting okay and I even down to the size of the pot like I was gonna go for one of the big ones and they were like you don't need that you don't need anything that size just the smaller one or like the mid-size one so I grab it and then I felt the need to go get soil uh seed starter I don't garden very much I mean I I attempt <laughs> But I don't know. So I felt the need to get that. I already have seeds. I'm getting that started. And also charcoal. I don't know what I'm going to need the charcoal for. I don't even have a grill. But I went ahead and bought it. And I got bananas too. <laughs> I was like, I really want some bananas. If I'm going to be stuck in a snowstorm, like whenever I want some bananas, I don't know. So I went and I got all that stuff. Now the storm, as of the recording of this, I made sure I got up extra early this morning to film so I have obviously I'm already late with this but to edit get it up I'm going to make sure I'm 
the whole day is going to be devoted to personal readings. If you want one, angelsouls444.com. I'm also getting the blog going. I'm on Substack. There's lots of great stuff. Oh, and we'll talk about the live too. But I have lives going on. And if there's one coming up, it will be in the description box. But I want to make sure I got the work done in case we did lose power. But this seemed to be messaging around you're going to need heat. You're going to need heat. Again, please be careful if you're in a region where you're having to, I, I don't know what the charcoal is for. I do have little mini fire pits that are contained and they're safe and, you know, but always be safe, okay? <laughs> be careful. I have a fire extinguisher. I even have a firehouse near me. So we're good. So I always <laughs> make sure I'm very careful with all that. But logistically, I didn't know why I had to go there. Logistically, I had everything that I need. So as this storm comes in, I guess we'll have to see. All right. That's a way that your angels are looking out for you and protecting you. The other retrograde kind of thing, I had this live scheduled for January 15th. Some of you are probably laughing because we got to talk about this. So I had it scheduled for January 15th. It was going to be on quantum dreaming, how you could uh, visit different aspects of this timeline in your dream state and how that's different than astral projecting or visiting the Akashic records. All right. So that I, I thought that was a fascinating topic, but for some reason there was like hardly any interest shown whatsoever. That's unusual, right? So we get up to the day of, there were a couple of tickets sold, but I don't know if people are intending to actually make the live or if they're just going to watch the replay. So the chances were pretty high. I was going to have to sit there by myself talking to myself, which I do hear, but the lives, the whole point of that is to interact with the audience. So I thought, hmm, people either aren't interested in this topic or this day, it was on a Sunday, maybe doesn't work for people. Leave your comments down below if you have a take on why that might have been an issue. So I go ahead and I cancel it, thinking there's not interest. And that's when people, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh, that's when people start reaching out and go, why'd you cancel it? I was about to come to the thing. And I was like, well, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you know, just in this case, usually last minute ticket sales, that's not a problem. But for this one, it seemed like everybody was gonna come in a couple of hours before the live. But I didn't know that, right? So let me know if you want me to reschedule it. If there's another topic you would like me to cover, you know, if there are, I've asked this before and it's been 50-50 whether you want, you know, the live events to happen during the week or on the weekend. If I do end up having uh, like a day job, if you want to see it that way, then we'll have to work that out. But I'll keep you posted on all that. Like I said, it probably won't affect you guys at all. There will still be content. There'll still be personal readings, all that good stuff. So really, we're just two weeks into 2023 as of the recording of this video and things are getting weird like people are acting out right? and um and some of it not in a funny way whatsoever but just already there's all these eye-opening moments and uh forms of protection coming through our spiritual team so be aware of that um be mindful if you don't know why you're being asked to go to the store go anyway oh guess what i did <laughs> i dropped the deck so i am going to be using i'm coming back to my crystal deck here and we're bringing back the color cards. Oh, I have them upside down. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. All right. So be aware of all of that. Uh, and I, I think the message and the reason why I was sharing those stories is because of happenings. And we want to be prepared for that. Okay. Whether that is grids going down. The um, FAA thing was happening right around the time our internet went and it was like was it a full 24 hours it may not have been a full 24 hours but it was like that was unusual in my experience so what is going on with these cards <laughs> so they're jumping all over the place the first card out is moonstone cycles so this is a huge indication that we are as we know we're completing out a big cycle that will complete we're, we're saying or thinking or some of us are channeling that it is going to be 2024 when there's the completion of one cycle and then it'll begin another so moonstone is intuitive it's introspective and that is really the energy of 2023 it's going within and paying attention to what changes need to occur and i'm even hearing right now that some of the intuitive hits that you're getting are just the beginning about for example you know where to live 
uh, what kind of lifestyle you want. We'll see a turn from like wealth flexing. People are not going to be impressed by that. And please understand, again, I, I'm recording this from the United States. So we have a very different perspective than some other places around the world. There are places in the world where that's really tacky <laughs> to, to show off your wealth and, and all of that. So this is a, a personal cycle as well. So I've been telling people, make sure you are working on your spiritual wellness. I've been talking more about um, energy portals. And don't worry, you know, you're still in the energy portal. And please understand when I say if you want to have your personal reading in time for the energy portal, it does not guarantee a date. There seemed to be some confusion around that. So that does not mean that you get your reading by 111 or 122 or 121. No, it's the energy is around that date. It just tends to spike in frequency around that time. We also have an issue with people coming and seeing my posts maybe a day later and thinking that that timing still applies to them. You, If you want to stay on top of what's going on, you have to be subscribed. And that's not even, <laughs> that's not even a marketing thing. That's just common sense. If you wanna be a part of it, if you wanna see the posts, you know, you gotta, you gotta be subscribed. I just bumped my mic. Sorry. So, uh, yeah. So the moonstone being intuitive, really listening to your intuitive hits, just like that example I was giving in that story about, I, I even walked into the store going, okay, what am I, what am I looking at? What am I getting? Ooh, bananas. I found the bananas first. And sure enough, as soon as I'm walking over to the bananas, this woman looks at me and stands right in front of them and just like looks at me. She was having a power play with me. People, they're, what we call, well, whatever, we won't call them anything, but I should say some mental functioning is really becoming apparent and you're going to see more and more of that. So the moonstone is sensitivity. You might be a little more sensitive to that, but you also have the opportunity to learn to bounce back from it. Okay. All right. So the next one we have is agate healthy body. So part of us being strong through all of this is making sure our physical needs are met. We're discovering that this is becoming harder and harder. Rising housing costs. Most people, like I went to Trader Joe's and they don't even have eggs. They don't have them. <laughs> and then all these uh, people are on social media talking about how they went and got their own chickens, but their chickens aren't laying. So they're not getting eggs from their chickens. It's just kind of fascinating. So spiritual wellness, but also make sure we are taking care of our bodies. We're going to see um, themes around, we're already, I mean, it's been going on for a while, but this whole culture around work where, you know, you're expected to work 14 hour days, you know, and get burned out and, you know, all that kind of mentality needs to shift because it's not, it's not how we're going to be at our best, essentially. And remember, the body is housing the soul. So, that's too many. Um, the body is housing the soul. So it needs to be very healthy right after here before the storm hits. I'm going to make sure I go out for another walk. I don't know if I'm going to go hiking. The trails were pretty muddy and icy. So, but, you know, making sure that I pause in the middle of the day to go do that and clear my head. And I do meditative walking too. Be careful with that. Okay. You want to stay alert. Yeah. Okay. Pink tourmaline forgiveness. This is a whole cleansing, releasing time because we're getting set up the emotional wellness, the spiritual wellness, the physical wellness, forgiving, you know, allowing these things and old habits to go, not because it's your New Year's resolution, but because we need to be prepared for what is to come. That's what it boils down to. We need to be prepared for what is to come. There are going to be things that we were so used to. Uh, ways we were used to functioning, right, uh, that are now not working. Uh, I'll give you another example about the, you know, I better get a steady job just in case kind of thing. Uh, and it's always good to have new experiences. And uh, I work alone. It might be nice to be around people and not be so isolated. But I usually get paid through Stripe and PayPal. For whatever reason, Stripe was not paying out the money <laughs> to my bank account. 
And so I went on to this huge scramble trying to figure out what's going on. How do I, you know, how do I get paid? Like it's just sitting there. The money got stuck. So this is that digital thing going on. And that was another thing that was like, you know, if I had another stream of income, this would be an annoyance, not an emergency, right? So I want to lay that out there because I feel like a lot of people are probably feeling that same kind of shift or something along those lines. Like, I'm not saying everybody has to have a second job, but you might realize that you're not as secure as you had hoped, right? So I'm even hearing now, <coughs> pardon me, to check on your uh, home insurance, your renter's insurance, make sure your policies are in place. Um, make sure everything's on the up and up. Make sure your paperwork is done. And make sure you have paperwork. Make sure you have hard copies of everything. Okay. All right. Okay. Stibnite conflict. So this is part of what is getting us prepared to handle, you know, darker energies. When people are feeling low or, you know, God forbid if they've experienced something horrible in their life and their energy falls, that leaves a lot of room for animation through dark energy, for dark energy to come on through. This is where we see people actually being, um, you know, they want to punish other people for their pain. I'd like to think that that's not their authentic soul. I'd like to think that, that that is some sort of um, darkness working through them. But definitely we're going to see people who don't want to be on, they don't want to be on this level. Okay, and I want to be careful with that because I don't want to sound self-righteous, but like, you know, some people still think it's completely acceptable to just push other people around or um, it's my way or the highway or, you know, if I give you a salary, then I own you and I'm going to decide whether you get to spend time with your loved ones or not. You know, like, I don't know. I'm going to decide whether you get to be sick or not. Do you get a sick day? I don't know. So... This could also be internal conflict because it comes right after the forgiveness card. There could be that internal conflict, not wanting to let go of something. Okay. All right. That's the other thing too. There could be some other bit of information that comes out and maybe it's shocking. You know, it's, it's such a turnabout. You never thought that would happen, but really it leads to a release. So good things to come, but it's going to be a little confusing at first. And if we don't work on our old habits, if we take our old way of approaching things and try to approach it to this new way, you might miss out on some really great opportunities. That's why I say readings or, you know, again, you don't have to get a reading with me, but just make sure you're working on that. All right, Scarlet attracts success. See, it's the number seven and it's a seven year. Seven is associated with archangelic energy. So there's a lot of messaging coming through like, hey, there's a new start. There's another way for you to be successful. But this also talks about redefining what success is to you. I think I said this in another video, but success to me was like, oh, I'm going to be a writer. I'm going to have my social media platform and, you know, then I'm going to have a big, beautiful house and I'll be able to do whatever I want to. And it's just going to be my little sanctuary and, you know, all of that. <laughs> that was my definition of success. Now it's I just want to show up, be the best human I can be. And just have a roof over my head that's mine. I can make it pretty, you know, <laughs> like, like no problem there. But it, it kind of got a little more basic. <laughs> so, you know, because the world is shifting and changing, um, and we are coming into a time where you're going to think you're super lucky if you get a hold of some eggs or what have you. Or if you have food, then you, you know, you know. So it's a humbling experience. All the things that we've complained about, there's going to be a hard stop on that. And we're going to start, it's, it's the energy of gratitude and realizing we're a lot luckier than we thought. But please hear me as I close this out. Please hear me when I say things are not going to look the way that they did. And if you are not ready to handle that, and from what I've seen, a lot of people are not we're, we're going to have a disaster. And this is not fear mongering. This is not fear mongering. This is if people are stuck in their ways, if people can't um, emotionally flow with an experience, if we hold on intellectually to the old way of doing things, 
if we're hanging on to our pain. Now you heal on your own time. I'm not, I'm not saying there's any rush in that, but there's no need for you um, to torture yourself with old pain. We're in the time where we have an energy flow where we can learn what tools we need as individuals to heal. What way can I, on a very deep energetic level, facilitate positive change? All right. Leave your comments down below. Please make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you for sharing and liking the video and I will see you next time. Take care.